Mohammed, you told me in Deer Lake you were the greatest of all time. And I think everybody out there watching now will say that you've proved it to me. man who was burned me up, too powerful, too strong. I proved that Allah is God. Elijah Muhammad is a messenger. And I have faith in them. And regardless of the world and the pressure, I made it an easy night. Because Allah has power over all things. If you believe in him, nothing, even George Fullman, will look like a baby. It wasn't a close fight, was it? No, it wasn't no, a close no, fight. No, no, no. Was it close, close before I knocked him out? No, no, no. No, no, no. no you suck Wait, you, wait. Is this on close? You tell, is it live? Right now. Live. Everybody stop talking now. Attention. I told you, all of my critics, I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. Sunday, listen. I told you today, I'm still the greatest of all time. Never again defeat me. Never again say that I'm going to be defeated. Never again that make me the underdog until I'm about 50 years old. Right. Then you might get me. But I didn't dance. I didn't dance for a reason. I wanted to make him lose all his power. I kept telling him he had no punch. He couldn't hit. He's swinging like a sissy. He's missing. Let me see your box. I hadn't started dancing yet. You can't say my legs are gone. You can't say I was tired because what happened? I didn't dance from the second round on. I stayed on the ropes. When I stay on the ropes, you think I'm doing bad. But I want all boxers to put this in the page of boxing. Staying on the ropes is a beautiful thing with a heavyweight when you make him shoot his best shots and you know he's not hitting you. I would have gave George Foreman two rounds of steady punching because after that he was mine. But he was falling. He was missing. I don't know if I'm going to fight again or not. Tell me, what did you say to George Foreman before the fight? What did you say? I told him he has no power uh, in the corners and in the clinches. I said, shoot your best shot. I'm going back to the ropes. They told me he was strong. Didn't, this, didn't I look stronger than him? Why, why didn't... Tell me, Mohammed. this is the thing that puzzled people. Why was it when you were on the ropes that he could not hurt you, even when you were right there on the ropes? Blocking, and I was pulling back, and I have a radar built inside me. I know how to judge punches. Didn't I tell all of you out there, on your local radio shows, mostly black stations, I told you, I'm going to float like a butterfly and sing like a bee. His hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. So that's what happened. That's what you said to me. But tell me now, are you really going to retire, Mom? I'm seriously thinking about retiring. There's nothing else for me to fight. I told her, well, I'm going to retire. I'm going to hold the title for a few months. I don't, they took my title unjustly. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. All of you bow. All of my critics crawl. All of you suckers who write the Ring magazine. Boxing in those days. All of you suckers bow because the stage was set. You made him great. You made him a bad Joe Lewis. You made him a hard puncher. But I want everybody from this moment on to recognize me as the scholar of boxing. If you want to know any damn thing about boxing, don't go to no boxing experts in Las Vegas. Don't go to no Jimmy the Greek. Come to Muhammad Ali. I am the man. One last question, Muhammad. Hello, my man, Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner out there. Muhammad, one last question. Tell me, is, would you say that this at this moment, is this the happiest moment of your life? No, no. Happens more in my life when I met Elijah Muhammad, the freedom speaker of black people. But I want to say this. Tell all to all my friends in Louisville, Kentucky. Joe Martin, Fred Stoner, all of my friends in Louisville, Kentucky, where I started. I'm recognized all over the world now, but my greatness came and started in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's one of the greatest cities in America, Louisville, Kentucky. And I predict that Louisville, Kentucky will have another world champion. Because Louisville is the greatest. Louisville is the greatest. And Muhammad Ali has proved that currently he's the greatest. We have to leave you here. Kinshasa Zaire, from Kinshasa Zaire, we say to you, good night to the world from Kinshasa.